Hi, this is the second video in my uh, tutorial on how to make a programming language in VB6. Um, so basically, f since the last video, I added a little bit to it. Um, I added this function down here, and I added um, I added this here for later. Um, and so basically, what I just did here is. This is a pathify function, that's what it's called. And basically it just adds a backslash in the um, path to your program in case, because if you're running it on the root of a drive, it'll have an error because it won't have, uh, because it'll have an extra backslash on it. So this just takes care of that, so I added that part to it. But, um, so basically what I'm going to be doing now is showing you how to add a switch case in here um, to process the command, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now that I added that, what it's going to do is when you type in te the test command, it's going to show this is a test command, and when you type in blah, it'll show this. Um, so what you can do to make your own language is you just add in whatever commands you want here, and you can make as many as you want, and then you just add in the code for whatever you wanted to do for each command. So that's pretty much it. Um, so I can uh, show you a file to see if it works. Didn't work, at least not right now. I gotta figure it out. Okay, so I know what the problem is. The problem is that basically this function that I added here, um, if you're running it in the IDE, you don't want to use this, only if you have it compiled, um, because this checks the path that the program is in, and then adds that to it. Um, so it'll, it might work if I just do this. Yeah. So... Basically, what it's doing is this pathify is just telling it to look in the directory that the program is compiled in. So when you store all your programs, it'll automatically look in the folder um, where this uh, where this exe is compiled to. But anyway, you can see uh, it's working because it just said this is a test command, and it should say that I think three times. I think that's how many times I put. Yeah, and then it says this is random. And so yeah, so then you just replace these commands with whatever you want. And um, in the next tutorial, part 3, um, I'll show you how you can add parameters to the commands. Um, so yep.
Uh, thanks for watching.